Everybody, you probably know who I am. Q Doma, all that good stuff. Your local heretic. All the way, hardcore. Now, I'm going to tell you, and you know, this is a special, a family special episode of Q Doma TV. And what we're going to talk about, I'm going to talk about my family. And also, I'm going to talk about the extra family that I inherited after. Now, what is, I'm going to talk about my mother. My mother, she's just crazy. I mean, you know, she's so crazy. I mean, uh, to the point, I mean, she can see, other, you know, I mean, she can see other stuff in other dimensions. I mean, she can feel stuff, and it's, it's just scary. I mean, that's just what, I'm going to tell you, you take the pills away, it gets like ten times worse. It's like, it's like, it's like fucking poacher guys. You know, it's like, oh my goodness, you know, my daughter, she's in the TV, and I don't know what to do. You know, it's like, fuck, but in this case, it's like everything's turning, it's like, it's like going, it's like, uh, if you ever, if you ever remember, if you ever remember the cartoon series Beetlejuice, it looked like everything had an eyes, nose, and mouth, that's what the hell it, that's what the hell it was like. When she wasn't on pills, everything was turning into something. Dust pan, every damn thing. I said, scary business. But you know that you know my mother, I can deal, I can deal with that, and getting past the whole religion thing, you know, is a little bit excessive. You know, she, you know, she thinks I'm just consumed by the devil, cause you know I love my pentagrams and I got my ring, and you know she, you need to take them evil things off, because you know if you don't know, you know he'll get you. You know Satan, he will control you. Like look, m mother, Satan does not have me. Yeah, but you don't call your mother mother. No, I call look, I don't call my mother by mother mother. I call my mother by her name. I'm sorry, but my best you know, my best friend does the same thing. So you know like heck, sex, sue me. That didn't come out right. Sex, sex, sue me. You, anyway. You, sex? I mean, look, uh, okay. look, 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 forget what forget it what I said. I mean, you know, I look I'm talking fast. You know, anything might come out of my mouth. You know, but but I'm gonna tell you something that's even more interesting. You know, when I got with uh, when I got with Kate, man, oh my goodness, you know, I you know I thought it was just gonna end right there, but then I inherited another mother, her mother-in-law. Your now, mother, okay, your mother-in-law. Well, my mother-in-law. Well, my mother-in-law. But the thing about it is, okay. She's another person that's all into the religion, but not only is she in religion, she's a bona fide preacher too. I mean, beyond drunken. Mind you, beyond drunken. You know, and it's just like, she'll give you like, I mean, she, she, I mean, she can be nice and all that, but don't you dare say anything, any in shape, form, or manner that seems like it's degrading her profession. Or saying something wrongfully against her religion, she will crucify you like Jesus got crucified on the cross. With I mean, with sticks and all. I mean, literally. You better hope the cross is not on fire when you on that. I mean, for real. I mean, literally. I mean, you know. I said, okay, this is what I have to put up with. You know, I got. You know, if I say something, I got to put up five reasons. Why I'm wrong. Five reasons why her ass is right. Five reasons coming from the damn siblings because I'm because basically the mother is basically you know king and her husband. Well, you know I don't know what the hell he doing. He's MIA. He's gone. It's like he's MIA today. Like I talk to you like you know I say hey Luther what's going on like. I was like, yeah, I know why his ass ain't talking because he know what the deal is. He know her ass is crazy. You know, she's like like freaking got that character of Tiny Toots, Katie Gaboon. You know, her ass can turn into, like, one minute she can be a princess. You turn around two seconds, she'll turn into a goddamn monster. You know, you wait, you know, you you don't think, you don't think Helen came quick. You know, what the hell is going on? I'm going to tell you, you know what? I, you know, I had this invention in my brain, you know, and I was thinking to myself, you know, I said, you know, it'd be cool. If they, you know, if scientists could come out with a pill and call it mother-in-law be gone. I mean, oh my goodness, it would be amazing. You know, I could just take the pill and the mother-in-law would be gone. I'm like, wow, what's my life? She's gone. It's a, you know, how does your life feel right now? I feel wonderful. I feel great. 
You know, I could even, you know, I would even be the spokesperson for that shit. You know, I was just like, hey, you know, I'm going to tell you something. And uh, for those of y'all people that are having it rough, you know, whether you're married or it's a friend, a friend of a friend who, you know, whose mother-in-law, it doesn't matter. If, if, you have, if you're a person like me and you've had to deal with the hardships, the misery, you know, and everything else that comes with, with a mother, a law, I think mothers are mothers. They are the mothers of mothers. That's why they call mothers. You know, of course, you know, you put F U C K, you, and you know, mother, you know, mother, you know, you know, you know why they call mothers, because they mothers. Mothers don't play. You know, so, you know, mother be gone for people that got trouble and everything else in their life. Mother be gone. And look, it would have no side effects whatsoever. It'd be perfect. No side effects. You know, as soon as you take it, the mother-in-law would just be gone. Mm. And that's look, and that look, and that's pretty much look, that's pretty much what it would be, people. This is Q Doma. I'm glad for you looking at this video. Any questions and comments, you know where to find me. Okay. Peace.